It is supposed to be in a, uh, like a labyrinth. I've realized... <laughs> I've just realized that the image of goofy-looking Markiplier has been on the, <laughs> the screen the whole time. All right, let's start it up. So this is like a PS1-style game, um, which some people don't like, and it's I th I'm sure it's going to be tank controls, which I hate, uh, but I'm super excited about it. Please don't tell me it's going to play the same cutscene. February 24th, okay. 1989. Good. I was one at this that point. In the town of Twin Peaks, Washington, a dead body was discovered down by the shore of wrapped, in, wrapped in plastic. This silly old man comes and finds it. Covered in blood. Too many secrets left hidden under the skin. Too many secrets left hidden under the skin. Drowned below a fire burning the flesh in a whisper. So, wow. This is a story of many, yet it begins with mm -hmm. one. That's true. A young high school girl known to many in a small community. You, uh, it starts as just a, a murder mystery about this girl, but man, it just expands into all these characters and like... The craziness Laura is the one. Or is the one that starts it all. God, it's such a good show. Holy Only shit. A few could stand the sadness, pulling up their tears. <laughs> That's her friend. Hoping not to be devoured by the flames. Hoping not to be devoured by the flames. Fire. Yeah, fire walk with Touch me, the name of the movie. The devilish one. It has bared many names, though few could see through its eyes. Evil. Evil spirits. A few miles from there, across the state line, emerges from the woods a second girl wandering down along the railroad tracks. Oh, that's right. Dazed, confused. Is it just going to tell us? Is it telling us the plot of Firewalk with Me? Face. Which it might be. Her name was Renet Pulaski. A desperate call that would echo throughout the darkness. <laughs> is it just going to spoil that movie? And I wonder if this game assumes that you've seen the show. Twin Peaks, population 51,201. Oh, wow, it kind of faded in there from the... Uh, yeah, 11.30 a.m., February 24th. There he is. Entering the town of Twin Peaks. <laughs> God, I'm going to have to rewatch this show. Oh, I've shit. So many trees in my life. He looks terrible. As W.C. Fields would say, I'd rather be here than Philadelphia. Now, hey. Uh, what's the weather going to be like? 54 degrees on a slightly overcast day. Weatherman said rain. You get paid that kind of money for being wrong 60% of the time. It'd be working. <laughs> Amen. Mileage is 79,345. Gauge is on reserve. Riding on fumes here. I got to tank up when I get into town. Remind me to tell you how much that is. <laughs> I love it. Lunch was uh, $6.31 at the Lamp Lighter Inn. Inn. That's on Highway 2 near Lewis Fork. <laughs> that was a uh, tuna fish sandwich on whole wheat, slice of cherry pie, and a cup of coffee. He loves his cherry and pie. And his... Yep. Diane, if you ever get up this way, that cherry pie is worth a stop. Yep. Okay. Suck, like I'll be meeting up with the. Uh, oh, yeah. The sheriff's name is Harry Truman. Remember that. We'll be at the Calhoun Memorial Hospital. Guess we're going to go up to intensive care and take a look at that girl that crawled down the railroad tracks off the mountain. Yeah. Finish here, I'll be checking into a motel. I'm sure the sheriff will be able to recommend a clean place, reasonably priced. That's what I need. Clean place, reasonably priced. <laughs> He's so good. So good. Oh, Diane, I almost forgot. Got to find out what kind of trees these are. They're really something. He's just... He loves nature. He loves pie. He loves a damn fine cup of coffee. Dale Cooper. Agent. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Polygonal bird. It's playing the... It's playing the intro, but just in uh, PlayStation graphics. I love that. Yep, cutting, cutting wood and beams at the old sawmill. It looks like the saw is sawing another saw. How many saws could a saw saw if saw sawed saws? Twin Peaks. God. Okay. I'm gonna watch this after I'm done playing this game. <laughs> I don't know how long the demo is. I'll be honest with you, the first nine and a half minutes has been watching cuts. I may uh, cut that part the very beginning all that stuff out we'll see mansion amic i don't remember who that is dana ashbrook one's the secretary richard beamer i think that's the old guy i could be wrong laura flynn boyle that's the one that was from the show that uh Sherilyn finn that she plays audrey love her uh, that's who 
We made it um, super far. Peggy Lipton, James Marshall. Look at all these names. These are all names people that are not 45 know. <laughs> I'm not 45, by the way. Jack Nance, that's another one. That's the old guy. Ray Wise. These are all people. Gene Manzoni is graphic designer. Okay, I don't. Uh, now they're just doing the game people. Props to you. Yep, Mark Frost and David Lynch. Mark Frost went on to work on uh, X Files, I believe, for a time. He also worked on something else. Breaking Bad? Nah, I could be wrong. I don't. The, the hell do I know? I just know he went on to do stuff while David Lynch. They kind of split up. That's why the uh, game. Okay, I got a. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, it looks like Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, God. This is tank controls to the max. Hello. Man, smell those trees. Not from around here, are you? I just got into town. What are you waiting for here outside? I'm waiting for someone. A friend. Shouldn't be too long now. All right. I'll leave you to your business then. Oh, God. This is going to be difficult. All right. So, B brings up my menu. Bureau official manual. I'll come back to it from time to time. My mini tape recorder. My badge. Teresa Banks case. Um... Wait, what? 17 year old girl. Her body was found in Wind River on February 14th, 1988. Wrapped in plastic. But that's not her name. I guess, I don't know if they can. They have to change some of the things. Either way, let's go inside. Because that's not her name in the show. Oh, I'm walking backwards. Oh, I'm walking. Oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> <clears throat> there he is, Mr. Palmer. Laura. Okay, so that's weird. Okay. I can't believe it. Okay, well, I'll see you later, Mr. Palmer. Uh, I could just spo I could just spoil the... I'm thinking, like, I could just spoil the... <gasps> I need some coffee. This coffee's piping hot. It's just... Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? These controls... I should probably be playing with a... Uh... Oh, boy, I was not built for tank controls. Is he gonna pick up... He's gonna pick up the coffee. Drink it. Drink it, Cooper. Damn good coffee. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you can save your game by drinking coffee. I like that. I like that. This nurse is like, what the hell's wrong with that guy? Why is he walking like that? Oh, there's reception. Welcome. Can I help you? Special Agent Dale Cooper, FBI. I'm here. I'm supposed to meet with Sheriff Harry S. Truman. It must be about those girls. Um, yes. Could you tell me more about those girls? Right this quiet girl. Never had the chance to really know her. She was brought here nearly unconscious, all covered in wounds. The doctor said her condition was stabilizing. What happened to the other girl? Oh, she did. When I saw her like that, it was so... I'm sorry, it's just too much emotion. It very was tied to Laura Palmer in some way. Where's the intensive care unit? It's on the second floor. Take the elevator from here and it should be the first door on your right. Alrighty, see you later. Well, thank God I went the right way. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. Okay. Good. I don't have to push a button. Something, cr something crazy is gonna happen. Some. Oh, I just got off the elevator. I thought something crazy would happen there. I don't know if it. It didn't go into the psychological horror so quickly in the show either. It's the first five seconds. Agent Cooper. Sheriff Harry S. Truman. Yeah. There he is. Dale Cooper, FBI. Pleasure. Good to you. <laughs> They're just playing clips Are from the show. The place? No. No. Perfectly fine. I came out over Highway Two. Near Lewis Fork. Near Lewis Fork. I stopped at a little place called the Lamplighter Inn. I had a slice of cherry pie. Incredible. Incredible. Well, I'll tell you, we're sure glad to have the FBI here. Kind of lucky in a way that Ron had stepped out across the state line. The whole town is really badly shaken up. Sure, it's a nice, quiet place, something like this. Sheriff, let me stop you in the hallway here for just a second. <laughs> There's a few things that we got to get straight right off the bat. You know, I learned about this the hard way. It's best to talk about it up front. When the bureau gets called in, the bureau's in charge. Now, you're going to be working for me. Sometimes local law enforcement has a problem with that. I hope you understand. Like I said, we're glad to have you here. Sheriff, what kind of fantastic trees have you got growing around here? <laughs> Big. He just looks so stupid. Goodness, their faces look. Their faces just Can look so funny. Give me a copy of the coroner's report on the dead girl. Well, the autopsy hasn't been done yet, but I'll take you downstairs to the morgue when we're finished here. God, now I just feel like I'm watching the show. Hell yeah. I gotta keep pushing forward. I just want to press back. I just want to press backwards, but I gotta really. Ronette must be in her room with Doctor Shelby. Okay. Well, let's see if I can walk my ass over there. <laughs> and what's going on over here? Hello. Whoop. 
Oh, good evening. Finally on time. On time for what? On time for your injection, of course. I don't need no injection. Come on, it won't hurt a bit. Come right here. Yeah, let's just leave. The hell did that guy want? <laughs> that was weird. Can I go back here? Ooh, a little poster. This Twin Peaks calendar, 90, 88 to 89. Hell yeah. A little, oh God, he was right in front of the camera. All right, let's go over here in this one. I just want to check out what's going on in these rooms. Anything in particular? Nope, can't go that way. I'm going to spin in circles. <laughs> Is she in here? It's taking a second to load. This has got to be it. <laughs> they look like... Uh, there's a game on Windows called Windows Movie Maker, but not like the application. It was like uh, you could actually make little movies with characters. That's what these models remind me of. B.I. Agent Cooper. Doctor, how's the girl? Oh, she did. She's in shock. Suffering from exposure. Any connection to the dead girl? Same high school, as far as we know, they hardly knew each other. No connection. What's her physical condition? She's not doing well. Her body has, has suffered serious physical and psychological injuries. Was she raped? Several times. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's right. One perpetrator? We're waiting for the results. I'd like to question her. This girl doesn't even know where she is or if she is. What exactly are you saying? We need a cast can and we are not equipped for that here. My opinion, she may have neurological damage. She's just not responsive at all. I'd like to examine her fingers. All right. I'm going to look at them little sausages. I think you find something in there? Or have already scraped for particles. No, that's not what I'm looking for. There's nothing here. Not a thing. Don't, don't go there. Oh, boy. Don't go there. Not good. Ronnie, run it. She fainted. We should let her rest. She went through a lot in the past few hours. Sure. All right, well, let's check you later. Poor girl, I can't imagine what happened to her. I don't know. You told me to leave. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to bother the doctors without good reason. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Look at me. God forbid in this later in this game if they actually finish this, that you have to actually rush somewhere because I'd be fucked. Poor girl, I never thought something like this would happen around here. Any suspect of mine? A couple of small-time kids, but nothing like this. For now, let's go downstairs, take a look at the dead body in the morgue. I love how they have to rotate around. They can't just turn around. All right, I'm following you. Harry S. Truman. Following. Oh, that's right. The crazy guy. Crazy doctor. Dr. Jacoby. Terrible, terrible tragedy. Yes. He's got 3D glasses on. This is Special Agent Dale Cooper. Gary Cooper? Agent Cooper. Agent FBI? Right. Dr. Lawrence Jacoby. Agent Cooper. Laura was a patient of mine. Listen, you're on your way to the morgue now. Do you mind if I join you? Yes, I do. Why would you want to? Sort of against procedure, Doctor. Well, no offense, I, I thought I could be of some help. You still could be at another time. Oh, I understand completely. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Laura's, uh, Laura's parents. They didn't know that she was seeing me. But if you change your mind, I'll be in my office. The guy's a psychiatrist? Yeah. Yeah, she was having her issues. She was having her issues. All right, let's go. So you gonna be in here with me? Nice. Oh, hey, dude. He was kind of dressed like him, though that jacket doesn't really make sense. He wore like a brown leather jacket. I wish I could just watch Twin Peaks on stream. I would do that. What's going on in the morgue? Oh. Body. Laura Palmer. <laughs> Not really sure why they just have her laying out like that. Here if I'd like to examine her body and I need your assistance. Alright, where should we start? Okay, now... Um, if this lets me actually examine her in some way, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, look, first of all, let's look at this stuff. Can I look at this stuff? Hell yeah, I can. There's used tweezers. Uh, yeah, we'll take the tweezers. Palmer, Laura, age 17, 5'7", 120 pounds, race, Caucasian, clothed, no. Date and time found. Uh, usual residence, next of kin, Leland and Sarah. Relationship, parents. 
dress, same as above. Reported by Pete Martell. Description is to wear the rocky lakeshore in front of Blue Pine Lodge. Wrist, ankles, and upper arms. Well, yep. Entire body wrapped in thick plastic sheeting. Yep. Uh, it was not waterlogged. Covered with sand. Yep. That's true. All that did happen. No, I didn't want to look at that again. I want the other thing that's on here. Oh, God. Okay, if I look at it again, I'm... Okay, well, we're done with that. Okay. I can't pick up the other thing, I guess. Let's just go ahead and take a look at it. Let's see your hands. Um, okay. Hold on. I have tweezers for this. Uh, use. I need to disinfect it first. Oh, okay. Oh, there's stuff over here. Lord have mercy. A little help here, Truman. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> the real difficulty of this game. Oh, dude, get out of the way. Um, who found the body? Pete Martell, manager of the Packard Salt Mill. He was on his way to fish when he found the body down by the lake. Dude, if you could get the hell out of the way, that would be incredible. I don't know if I... Let's see if there's anything else over here I can take. Oh, okay. We can go over here. Oh, I can walk across this way. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. A nightmare more than... It looks like her head's just missing completely from this angle. Here we go. Yep. Sterilizing agent. <laughs> he looks so bored. All right. Turn around. Turn around, Cooper. <laughs> Let's go. We gotta get this done at some point. To the right. To the right. Straight ahead. All right. There's something on our left hand. I need a tool. Yes, I understand that. Sterilizing agent. Use it. Uh, combine with this. Sterilize tweezers. Use. Okay. Nice. What are we going to find under her finger? I wonder. wonder what we're going to find under her finger. He's taking his time. We scraped those nails when we brought them in. There it is. There it is. Finally, there it is. What? Diane, I'm at the Twin Peaks County Moor with the body of the victim. The body of the victim. Little Palmer. I got him before the autopsy. Diane, it's the same thing. I told you I had a feeling you'd see this again. What do you got? What do you got? Here? finger, under the nail. Let's see what he left us. Let's see what he left us. Oh, that's right. The letter. There's letters. Yeah. Diane, give this to Albert and his team. Don't go to Sam. Albert seems to have a little more on the ball. We need to bag and tag this. Okay, Cooper. You gonna let me in on whatever the hell is going on here? Sheriff, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about, Sheriff. We'll you have all the time to tell me about this in the car. If you have anything to do before we leave, now's the time. I'll wait for you outside. Is this the end of the demo? I don't really care. Let's just let's just get out of here. This is just a demo. It doesn't matter. All right. I'm finally getting the hang of the tank controls. I think. What's happening? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm not going the right way, so that's fun. Oh, I think that we're on the... Uh, okay. It's not working. Something's wrong. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something spooky's happening. Oh, what is this? Guess I gotta take a piss. It's like, yeah, you gotta take a piss, dude. We're telling you in the weirdest way. Something gonna pop out at me. Something pops out at me. This isn't supposed to be a horror game. Briefcase. Hello? Is there someone in here? No answer. Okay. Looks like there's something down there. I'm not going to put my hand in it. Looks like there's something down there. I'm not going to put my hand in it. Ah, oh, fine. Fucking fine, dude. Pussy. Oh! What's happening? Oh, God. Is he coming for me? Ah, uh, okay, there's flash effects. Got it. Oh, oh, we're here. We're in the red room. The red room, motherfucker. Oh, there it is. Where am I? And this is where the show just goes down a fucking crazy rabbit hole. I wish I could go... Statue looks sad. Yeah, I know, but I gotta get through the curtain. I'm gonna be honest, the show kind of lost me in the third season when they came back with it. It just kind of lost me, but yeah, it is what it is. Not, It's not for everybody. There's a guy that does like an eight-hour essay on this show. Oh, God. Do I have to get through here? 
Okay, normally there's a couch here. Weird, let's try and go this way. Okay, can't go that way. Trapped in the damn red room, dude. Let's go this way. It is supposed to be in a, uh, like a labyrinth. I've realized... <laughs> I just realized that the image of goofy-looking Markiplier has been on the, <laughs> the screen the whole time. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Th that'll be fun for later. <laughs> I'm not... I can't take that off from the video, and I'm not doing this again. So, uh, I hope everybody's enjoyed the Markiplier. Oh, my God. Gold heart necklace. Yep. Oh, okay. Is that all I needed to do there? This seems eventful. Nope, nope. We're right back where we started. The gold heart key, it will belong to Lara, I believe. Some, looks like there's something missing. Okay, there we go. Let's put the locket piece in. Ooh, it's turning. It's like, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> okay. I think it wants me to go this way. Yep, seems like it. There it is. It's the red room. Small globe, it looks like a miniature of Saturn. You want to sit? Yep, we sit. Somebody come out. Somebody's got to come out, right? Come out, come out wherever you are. I know you're in here. Come ski dapple doodling out here. Is he? Oh! Hello, I stand buffer. <laughs> yeah. Speaking backwards and then re speaking and then reversing it and then re reversing it, I think. Where am I? This is the waiting room. The waiting room for what? For me. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Are you Laura Palmer? I feel like I know her. Sometimes I dream of a man in a world of fire. She's filled with secrets. There's so much weird, just like. Meanwhile, at the best, super best friends. <laughs> Ooh, I love the P the PS One aesthetic. Really works for this game. PS One was not out yet, but uh, this uh, ooh little dance at the Bang Bang Club. He said Bang Bang Room earlier. I did not mean to say that. Little performance for everybody. Ooh. Ooh. So, there's these intercut inner cuts of this happening where it's just someone singing. It's all very bizarre. And it, even paying attention to this show. There are parts of it that just don't make any fucking sense. If you've, if you've ever seen anything by David Lynch, it, you understand how bizarre he can be and the stuff that he writes, how bizarre it can be. So um, that's kind of the show. And I love it so much. And I don't know where it's going to stop. This demo is going to stop. Because the thing is, if it stops very soon, there is so much. Like, you haven't even gotten through the first episode. And there, uh, to be fair, there's only so many um, it's very short in the grand scheme of things because there were only two seasons and I think one of them got cut short the second one may have gotten cut short uh, which is why they came back 25 years later and did the, the third season but it's even more bizarre because like David Lynch had like no he's just like let loose and you never want to do that it's the same with Christopher Nolan like you want to rein him in a little bit because if you don't it's just going to be some weird like esoteric just bull crap. <laughs> it like, just doesn't make me go. That's why I don't like the third season that much. I I watched it, but like it just kind of goes off the deep end in a way that I didn't really care for, um, and kind of lost what made the original two seasons so good. Um, not to say it's bad, but it's just not as good for me as the second season. Oh, okay, that was the end. Okay, 
Well, that was fun. I mean, it was a short, and I didn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> but I like it. I love the series. I would like to see if more there's more to come from this. Uh, that'd be really cool, because I love this show. This would be a great way to revisit it. But I think that I'm just going to have to revisit by watching the show, because God knows if these kind of things ever get completed. I guess we'll see. And how long this will go on for. Oh, I, I well, I accidentally hit start, so <laughs> it's over now. Uh, it was just a daydream-like song. Anyways, the screen has gone black. Oh! Oh, what was that? Huh? Uh, <laughs> what's he doing in there? Oh, uh, do I have... Oh, I was, I was about to walk forward. If I could have, I would have gotten hit by that car. I think that's it. I think that's just a little teaser. Okay. That was... A, a plus. I, I, I like... I mean, obviously, I love the game, so I love the show, so I'm going to love this. Um, we'll see if more happens with this. But anyways, thanks for watching. I love you. Go watch Twin Peaks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.